Welcome to your premier historical reference, Journey Around the Planet. The Paris Basin fell under Roman control in 52 BC, leading to the establishment of a settlement on the left bank of the River Seine. Originally known as Lutetia, or Lutetia Parisiorum, the Roman town flourished, boasting amenities such as a forum, baths, temples, theaters, and an amphitheater. Over time, the town's name evolved to Parisius, eventually becoming Paris in French. Christianity was introduced in the third century AD by Saint Denis, the city's first bishop, who was martyred for his faith. His burial site on Montmartre became a significant religious center, later hosting the Basilica of Saint Denis, where many French monarchs were interred. Paris grew in importance under Clovis the Frank, who made it his capital in 508. Despite facing Viking raids and other challenges, Paris remained strategically significant, as demonstrated by its successful defense during the Siege of Paris, 885-886. Under the Capetian dynasty, which began with Hugh Capet's election as king in 987, Paris emerged as France's largest and most prosperous city. Throughout the Middle Ages, urban development expanded, notably with the filling of marshlands between the Seine and its northern arm leading to the cultural center shifting to the right bank. In the 12th century, Philip Augustus fortified Paris further, extending the Louvre fortress and building its first walls and bridges. He also established the University of Paris, attracting students from across Europe. By the 14th century, Paris was Europe's most populous city. However, it faced challenges such as sanitation issues, reflected in the naming of streets after waste. The Hundred Years' War and religious conflicts further impacted Paris with occupations and violence. In the late 16th century, Paris saw improvements under Henry IV, including the construction of the Pont Neuf and Place Royale, now Place des Vosges. Cardinal Richelieu continued this trend, enhancing the city's beauty with new bridges, buildings, and boulevards. Louis XIV's reign marked a shift, with the royal court relocating to Versailles in 1682. Despite this, Paris remained a center for arts and sciences, with institutions like the Comédie Française and the French Academy of Sciences flourishing. The king's demolition of city walls led to the creation of iconic tree-lined boulevards. Paris's rich history reflects its evolution from a Roman settlement to a thriving medieval city and a cultural hub that continues to captivate the world. Between 1640 and 1780, Paris experienced significant population growth, swelling from approximately 400,000 to 650,000 residents. During this period, urban expansion saw the creation of the Champs-Élysées Boulevard, extending the city's reach westward to Etoile. Conversely, the Faubourg Saint-Antoine neighborhood on the eastern side became increasingly congested as poor migrant workers from various regions of France flocked to the area. The events of the French Revolution placed Paris at the epicenter of philosophical and scientific enlightenment. In 1751, Diderot and d'Alembert published their influential Encyclopédie, while in 1783, the Montgolfier brothers achieved the first manned flight in a hot air balloon. Paris also solidified its status as the financial capital of continental Europe and a hub for industries such as book publishing, fashion, and luxury goods manufacturing. The summer of 1789 marked a pivotal moment in Parisian history as the revolution unfolded. On July 14th, a mob seized the arsenal at the Invalides and stormed the Bastille, a potent symbol of royal authority. Subsequently, the first independent Paris Commune convened, electing Jean-Sylvain Bailly as mayor. The revolution's radical turn led to the execution of Louis XVI, Marie Antoinette, and numerous others during the reign of terror. Following the revolution, Paris experienced fluctuations in population, with a significant drop during the upheaval, but a subsequent surge after Napoleon Bonaparte seized power in 1799. Napoleon's reign brought significant urban development, including the construction of iconic monuments such as the Arc de Triomphe and infrastructural improvements like new fountains and bridges. The Restoration period saw the reversion of Paris's landmarks to their pre-revolution names. 
while the July Revolution of 1830 ushered in a constitutional monarchy under Louis-Philippe de Sers. The advent of railway lines in 1837 initiated a wave of migration from the provinces to the capital. Subsequent administrations, notably under Napoleon III and Georges Eugène Haussmann, embarked on ambitious urban renewal projects, creating wide boulevards, parks, and modern infrastructure. Paris endured the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-1871, culminating in a siege and subsequent uprising known as the Paris Commune, which was violently suppressed by the French army. Despite these tumultuous events, Paris hosted two influential international expositions in the late 19th century, showcasing architectural marvels like the Eiffel Tower and landmarks such as the Pont Alexandre III and the Grand Palais. Culturally, Paris became a nexus for literary and artistic movements, including naturalism, symbolism, and impressionism, spearheaded by figures like Emile Zola, Charles Baudelaire, and Claude Monet, respectively. If you're intrigued by Paris's rich tapestry of history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. Join our community and embark on a journey through time with us.